Hello, this is John Burford, and this is Chart of the Week for Monday the 15th of April. And today I'm taking a look at Royal Mail. I know it's a popular share for many interactive investor uh, traders and investors. Um, and uh, you've been pretty much disappointed if you are holding the shares. But I'm, I'm holding out some hope now for a reversal in fortunes. And uh, the horror story starts, of course, at the 632 area here uh, in May, back in May. And it's been a pretty much relentless downhill trend since then. But um, when analyzing a chart, I always go to, um, to my Elliott waves to see if I can detect any recognizable patterns. And I believe I have here. I think this is wave A down to here. We've got a very... A uh, very shallow uh, retrace up to this wave B, a very hard uh, move down here, which uh, was, I believe, on um, on results and outlook, which was none too uh, too brilliant. And since then, and this is the interesting part for me, this period from uh, uh, October down to the current uh, level down here uh, is a series of overlapping waves. You see how overlapping they are? There's no clear trend except the trend is generally sloping down, but uh, there's no real impetus, no, um, no great force uh, sending it lower. And this is usually a sign when it comes at the end of, of a very uh, strong trend, which it has, uh, a sign of, of accumulation. And uh, I believe smart money is moving in at, in this period here. The other major feature, of course, is the momentum divergence, which is shown here. That's the momentum at this low here. We've had a series of lower lows, whereas the momentum has not made a series of lower lows. In fact, they've made higher lows. And so we have what we call a momentum divergence. And this is usually a sign uh, that the trend will be ending at some stage and the reversal could well be very sharp. So here we have a one, two, three move down, and I've got a uh, trend line here joining these these um, these highs here. There's about seven, six or seven of them now, and uh, they have. In fact, on on Thursday and Friday of last week, it showed a sign of uh, poking above uh, its head above this this line here. <clears throat> And if this is, uh, in fact, the correct analysis, we will get a move up. And in fact, my target will be at the start of this uh, of this pattern here, which is about here, which is around the 360, roughly the 360 area. So that's my first target, providing we get a nice move above this, this, this blue trend line here. And uh, with a favorable wind, uh, we could get a move up to this level here, around about the 4, 440, perhaps. Now, uh, the AGM is coming out, I believe, next month, and uh, we could hear some, some bullish news depending on the pattern of the chart up until that point here, because the news follows the market. Okay, this is a little bonus beyond the, uh, the print edition. This is the four-hour chart of wave C. This is wave B. And you can see right away, I've got some lovely tram lines joining these, these lovely highs lying all on a perfect straight line. And you've got these down here, three touch points. That makes it a valid tram line. So I've got a very much a textbook uh, tram line situation here. Also, I've got on this four hour chart, I've got a momentum divergence between that low and that low. And so that's a, um, a very key uh, indicator to me that we shall see a move eventually. It may not happen soon, or very soon, I should say, this week perhaps, but uh, my odds are, I believe, it we will see a move up to here. We could get a pullback into this area here, but I think uh, the odds for that are a bit lower than uh, otherwise. So the bottom line is, I believe I found a very low-risk, high-probability trade for Royal Mail.